This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. WFAA.com reports a monkey infected with herpes is all that remains on the loose after the owner of an exotic animal park in Ohio set more than 50 animals free and took his own life. Authorities spent hours Wednesday trying to find rare Bengal tigers, lions, leopards, and black bears, among others. 24 states banned the possession of exotic animals by private individuals. Ohio had a ban expire in April and now has lenient regulations. Texas requires a license to keep dangerous wild animals, but it's up to the counties to decide ultimately what can end up in your neighborhood. A security guard suspected of preying on prostitutes in East Harris County was charged Thursday with a second murder. According to KHOU.com, Stephen Hobbs, 40, of Crosby, was already facing a capital murder charge in the shooting death of Sarah Sanford, a prostitute whose nude handcuffed body was found in October of 2010. But now he's been charged with the cold case murder of another prostitute, Patricia Pite, whose body was found on the banks of the San Jacinto River in November of 2002. Pite, a mother of five who was also from Crosby, was strangled with such force that there were broken bones in her neck, investigators said. In addition to the murder charges, Harris County Sheriff Adrian Garcia said Hobbs has been charged with a 2002 aggravated sexual assault, which occurred within a week of Pite's murder. This guy had been thinking that no one was going to catch him, Garcia said. Investigators said all three cases were linked by DNA evidence. Stephen Hobbs is a predator, and he's been a predator for at least a decade, according to Houston Homicide Lieutenant Rolf Nelson. In Brownsville, from the Associated Press, members of a task force made up of federal and local authorities found about 50,000 rounds of ammunition beneath the bed of a pickup that was awaiting export to Mexico from Brownsville. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement says its agents were conducting a routine search for stolen vehicles at a staging area for vehicles being exported from the U.S. Wednesday when a specially trained dog alerted to the 1996 Ford F-150 pickup. Discrepancies were noted in the truck's bed, where an additional search found an AK-47 assault rifle and a 357 caliber revolver. More than a dozen assault rifle magazines were also found. The U.S. has stepped up outbound inspections at the border in recent years to slow the flow of drug proceeds and weapons that fuel the drug war in Mexico. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.